There are principles that prepare people to ministry, and they, they are two, the ones I use. There are two principles I believe in. Uh, the two principles that prepare people into ministry, and you have to get them from Jesus. Principle number one is spiritual training. Spiritual training. Bishop Oyedebo says it is training that turns trash into treasure. That's principle number one. Do not underrate training. It is out of training that people's capacity is pure. It can be in a theological seminary or you can attend conventions and conferences like this for capacity building. Jesus trained his disciples for three and a half years before allowing them to take the power of the Spirit. Training meaning you are training your mind because if your mind is, is not transformed, if your mind is not renewed, no matter the amount of anointing you, in, you, you, you swallow, it cannot produce impactively. It cannot. Training meaning you are preparing your mind for what you are about to receive. Training is key. Spiritual training, every one of us must embrace that. And the God who loves you will create opportunities every time for training. And they will give, he will show them to you. That's why we are speaking here. Otherwise, after laying on that you receive the spirit, you could have gone. But training is important. That's principle number one. And it must come before the second principle. Principle number two is spiritual empowerment. Spiritual empowerment. That's why after teaching easy disciples for three and a half years, he now told them go to Jerusalem and wait for the empowerment of the Spirit. When we all say that iron sharpens iron, you are talking about training. You are talking about teaching. You are talking about gaining information. That will help you a lot. I know some of you have been to theological seminaries. I was in one of the toughest theological seminary or universities called Bugema. And we did a lot of uh, Greek and Hebrew. And uh, I, I became a serious biblist. But there is no Greek word that ever cast out the demon. Not even from my close relatives. It's until you are empowered that demons respond. Many, many of us, every demon responds to us, but the only demon that does not respond is church growth. Church growth. When you see a demon say, scatter, it scatters. Because you have power, you don't have training. Every witch be scattered, they scatter. But wait until the witch who is converted comes to a church, is a tassel. Do not confuse the two. When you see magnificence or anything that is better, a manifestation, you know there is manifestation of the spirit where demons roll. But if the iron sheets are not roaring in your compound, you have a, an imbalance. Demons can roll, but are bricks rolling also? Are cars roaring? Is your house roaring? How many demons do you want to roll and they, they convert to become your car? Hello? Yes. Men and women of God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Every one of you sit here. Some demons can't even, can't even try to come close to you. The only demon that is brave is poverty. Because it is not it does not respond to spirit as such. It responds to the ability of the mind. As a man thinketh, so is he. He's also in the Bible. 
You already know, cast out every spirit. I give you power and authority. Wherever you lay hand on, it will be healed. Uh, what about your pocket? When you lay a hand, it can't be healed as, until you begin thinking differently. That's why Jesus, the Apostle Paul says in Romans, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. For this is the true act of worship. No matter how strong your heart is, if your head is small, you will still be having a headache in the spirit. You pray in tongues after tongues, headache. You take tablets. It is God did not create you with a heart alone. He also created you with a head. Don't just walk around as if it's only the heart you have. Remember, you also have the head. That's why when you become a Christian, it is not the heart that makes you a Christian. You are pastors. It's a decision you make. When you call people to Jesus, you ask them, how many of you are making a decision today? When you became a believer, you made a decision. You used your head. After becoming a believer, you are only using your heart. It's wrong. How do you use the head to become something and you begin using your heart only? Your journey, let me tell you, Christianity, 90, above 90% of what happens in Christianity is of the head. All that you are seeing men of God do is a product of the head, not the heart. Did you ever hear somewhere that the heart is willing uh, but the body is weak. What weakens the body? Is the mind. Because even if your heart says, I want to go to church, and your mind says, I'm going to Nairobi, your body will follow the mind. Your heart will just be in trouble. You will be going to Nairobi, but inside you will be saying, I wish I could have gone to church. If an accident occurs along the way, you say, mm, I wish I had gone to church. It's a wish. Your heart can only wish if your mind is not agreeing with it. The power to change the world is in your mind. The decision you make, the decision you make, men and women of God, There is nobody whose body is weaker than the mind. Say, oh, I fornicated it because my body is weak. Your body is not weak. It is your mind that is weak. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know. The, the kisses are saying, I don't know how it happened. When you say you don't know, you are simply saying, my mind is useless. Because how can you not know? How, how can you not know? I'm a man of God. I just don't know. I just found out I have slapped my wife. I don't know how it happened. This is the doing of the devil. Devil does not work with strong minds. Because he has no capacity to work with you on your strength. He must look for a weakness. Hey. Oh, I don't know the devil. <laughs> Devil is a liar. What is he supposed to be? A devil is a liar. And what do you expect him to be? To speak the truth? Please, let, let's, let's not have excuses. Improve your mind. You have capacity. You must believe that you have capacity. You have the ability to stand according to how God wants. Even when Jesus called you to be a minister, you had a choice to make through your mind, to accept or to reject. There are many people that have been called and they are not working. Please, let's understand this. It will help us. You became a Christian by use of your head, not your heart. The day you became born again, you were, some of you were even drunk. So your heart had no connection with holiness at all. It is your head that gave the support. And you made a decision in a crusade. You accepted Jesus. And thereafter, you started training your heart to accept a new Jesus you never had. Until God had an opportunity to call you. And when he called you, you again made another decision to accept. 
against all the advisors of people, oh, don't join it, oh, ministry, you'll be poor, oh, they give you every idea, but you went back, sat down, and made a better decision, said, I, I'm going to do it, no matter what, my wife may not like it, but somehow, with time, she will like it.